But How long ago you reckon he started collecting cars? Daddy's always been a collector of some sort and fashion. It was probably, what, 15, 18 years ago he started putting them all in one place. Right. I mean, Daddy's always had some kind of treasure that he loved. Right. But he, uh, I guess about 15, 20 years ago, he started parking one or two down here. Then, you know, Gus would find four or five. We did go together and buy them for Father's Day. That whole road down the chicken house, I think, I don't forgot where we got them. We bought most of them one time for, uh, for Father's Day. Yeah. Really? We got, we went and bought that whole little row of cars yeah. and gave to him Father's Day. Christmas, anything like that, yeah, you find an old car, man. Yeah. These cars right here, we did buy like 15 from an estate. We bought about 15 of these unique cars at one time at a state auction. Right. And uh, that's where this one and the blue Chevelle, uh, it was part of that package and we completely redid it here and put it back together. I know that one right there come from pretty famous. The yeah, guy that's very yeah, well known yeah, in the that, uh, car collection business, isn't we, he? We can't say who, but we can say the Cadillac Ranch. It comes from the <laughs> Cadillac Ranch. And, and Daddy would drive this one and uh, take the kids riding with uh, yep. a lead set on the back. Yep. And the, the grandkids. And the, and the guy we bought it from, dad let another guy keep it. He <laughs> traded on it. Well, three years later, they was at a car show, and Dave's like, I really like that car. He said, well, you should. It's yours, James. He said, you bought it three years ago. <laughs> and that was a guy up in Alto, so Daddy got it back down here, and we started driving it some. But there was a commitment. You could never open the trunk till the man we bought it from come and got the trunk cleaned out. Yeah. Well, I remember the day he come and got it cleaned out. I helped him unload it. I ain't gonna say it made shine, but it could at one time. Mm -hmm. It's sat in that trunk for about six years from we I owned it. I personally saw that car in the museum several years ago. It stayed in the museum for a good number of years. It was a very well-known car. Yep. A lot of like this IROC right here. Where are you gonna find another IROC today? It looks like yeah, complete car, low miles. Uh, bought it. Bought it from a one owner. Uh, he had bought it and the Mustang and one more car. Signed up with them a couple years ago. Uh, just good, clean. I mean, Daddy liked to have really good stuff. Then he liked to have anything was good to Daddy. It didn't have to be pretty and shiny. Daddy liked something that was unique, old. The fire trucks and all these other- Walk down here and look at some of these Stuff, others. I mean, it just meant so much to him. Well, Gus is Cadillac. Yeah. Gus, tell us about this car. Where'd you find this car? <laughs> I found it at auction and uh... My brother told me not to buy it, you know. That sealed the deal, didn't it? I bought it when he left. He left <laughs> that sealed early. the deal. If I say, no, Gus, if Gus he, says he yes, left Greg. Early, and whenever he left, I bought it. There you go. There you go. Do you like to drive it? Yeah, Greg drove it. He had fun in it. He yeah. probably likes it better I than I did cut a couple of donuts in it. It was fun. Yeah, so so my sister, my sister borrowed this thing, and her then, whatever it was, was going to fly a drone. Professional drone flyer. Uh -huh. Landed right in the middle of the hood, tore the hood off, dented the grill. But now look, we so all we did. no further than we are right here, and that drone comes. I don't know how high he had it, but when it hit, it sounded like a bomb went off. It <laughs> gave the whole top of the hood in. Two years later, we got a hood yep. and put it on it. This is a 58 Bel Air. 58 Bel Air. You can't hardly find them things, no way. You can find one Bel -Air. right here next. Thursday. That's correct. Next June Thursday. 2nd. June 2nd. You can find it. We're going to start at 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. You can have your own 58 Bel Air. Y'all drove that around a lot. We have drove it some. It come from a, it come from a, a local contractor. Uh, we've acquired it about three years ago. Uh, the guy really thought highly of this car, had a lot of money spent on it, and everything solid as it can be. It stands for itself. Big Red, as we call her. Uh, that's a unique truck right there. There was a rescue squad truck. It's got around 17, 18,000 miles unless we drove it a little more. But we took and converted it to a flatbed fun truck. Yeah. We, we drove it to the tractor pulls. and it's got a pull, cool big de Detroit uh, diesel big engine Detroit, in it. Detroit six-wheel drive, go anywhere truck. Uh, cool every step yeah, of the way. We, uh, we used to haul the junkyard dog to the racetrack in it. Yeah. Pulled him, pulled him to the Coa Speedway. Now, Gus, this is what? Everybody wants to know about Gus. Tell us all about this Peterbilt. Well, I tried to buy that thing for about two and a half years in Bone up in Cleveland. And I finally got something he wanted. Right. And I called Daddy and I said, I can trade this truck for this little Peterbilt. And Daddy told me to go ahead. And then 
We took it to a paint and body shop and had it reworked the whole truck inside and out. And uh, we took it down there and gave it to Daddy like the day before he passed. Really? He got to That's see awesome. it out the window one, one time. Yeah. Now, did the gentleman that y'all got it from, did he pull with it and use it? No, he just drove around town. He'd he ride, around, to ride around town. Everywhere he, you'd see four or five cars trying to buy it everywhere he went. Yeah. Right. It does have a usable fifth wheel if somebody That's didn't want to I pull, pull something with it. I saw a usable fifth wheel. You yeah. could hook a camper to yeah. it or your livestock trailer or your race trailer. Yeah, anything you, you want. Gotta, when I bought it. Well, yeah. Yeah. Black, yellow, green, it had a little bit of every color. Yeah, I yeah. think the guy just mixed everything he could get in his paint gun and sprayed it. Yeah, he didn't have <laughs> well, it's beautiful now. Yeah, really turned out unique. That's that's really, now Diddy like nice clean work trucks. You know, he liked stuff that she was going to work in, represent the name well, well-known name throughout North Georgia. So he uh, he, well, he, he no did have pride on, on that right there. So then me and Gus was at auction. He was saying no, and I was saying yes, and then he said yes, and I said no, and next thing you know, we end up getting it. Loved that Mac for Yeah, yeah, sure yeah. did. That was, uh, I think that was a Father's Day gift about five years ago, yeah. four or five years ago. That's a pretty truck. That runs good. Now. Yeah. They completely redo these trucks out in Alabama. That ain't where we bought it. We bought it out of South Carolina at auction, but we've had it about three or four years. We, when we had our big car so we had a big sign, had Simpson, Simpson Farms on it, yes, sir. Nice. 64 Malibu Super Sport Chevelle. It's got the numbers and everything right here. All matching numbers. We we had took this car and was going to redo it and just, we run out of gas and time and steam, but it's got your little 327 ready to roll. Where do you find another one of those? They're just not around anymore, are they? Next Thursday, June 2nd, you can have this little car. That's where Slick it's going to be. And if you really want to go 200 mile an hour, here's your opportunity. I don't know how you're going to stop it, but you, it'll get there. It's got a parachute on the back. A oh, parachute, like did you this ride, Cadillac. Did you race it, Gus? Never raced it, but the boy that uh, I got it from raced it. And, uh, I think he passed away, and I bought it at a state sale. Luckily, it wasn't in a car crash. Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. enjoyed it. He spent a lot Gus of time. has to go in a circle. He can't go straight. Yeah, I like dirt racing. He likes to come right back around and see you. He can't, he can't leave you. He just wants to go about, about 20 seconds. You'll see Gus waving again. Yeah, there you go. I remember a long time ago, the dirt car up here, when, when I used to go when I was little, I'd watch my brother race. They had a hot dog race at Winder Barrow one time. Gus would drive his dirt car around the track. you go two laps, you get out, park on the front straight, and run up the steps and eat two hot dogs. For 30 laps, I think he ate. Sure, gosh, I think gosh. he ate 30 hot dogs, but he won the race. Yeah, <laughs> the hot dog race at Winder Bar in the dirt cars, just like over here. That's all right. This is the younger generation. This is James L. Simpson instead this of James is, E. This Simpson. Is your son, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is this your yeah. oldest son? Yeah. No. no. Middle, middle son. Middle. All right. It all depends on which woman you're talking about, whether it's his oldest or youngest. And if anybody knows much about Diddy, about 20 years ago, Diddy was A-model crazy. And if you got an A-model, you got to know somebody knows how to work on A-models. And it went up and down about A-models. We got out of the A-model business, and then these two come back up available. And, and Diddy got this from one of his real good friends. He had stayed at him for years and years. And I can't remember where Gus found this folks in state prison one at. But uh, it may have come from folks in state prison, for all I know. Right. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde. But uh, these are two good, you solid. You ride in them, Andy? These are two solid A-model cars, or they wouldn't good be runners. here today. Yep. Yep. Sure. Good runners. Y'all have had a lot of fun with them. Yep. We all enjoy those videos you put up of you and your daddy. Yeah, I miss that. But We'd always be worried about daddy driving the car because his legs didn't work good. So right. He said, what if I wreck it? So, man, what if you wreck it? We'll fix it. Yep. That's right. We didn't ever try to tell him he couldn't. We just told him we'd fix it if he did. That's great. Right. Yep. Bubba, what's the story on that Mustang down here? Tell them about you getting out of your papa's fleet and him y'all working together on it and y'all fixing it all the way up, man. You talked to, talk to your granddaddy yeah. out of it and he yeah. sold you this Mustang. Yeah. And you just added it back to the collection. Yeah. Tell us all about it. Tell us what all you did to it, you and your granddad. Uh, we put a new motor in it, a whole new fuel system, uh, new wiring harness. A little bit of everything, the chrome and stuff. Radiator, interior, fan, yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. runs good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, Bubba. What's, what's her name, Bubba? Black 
Damn, damn old car. Damn old car. <laughs> Money pit. <laughs> it took you a while to get old Papa to tell you one that. Yes, sir. Ten years. He talked Ten about years. selling everybody, or all of them, but he wouldn't hardly sell one to nobody. Wouldn't hardly sell one. And you know, that's something. That, that's a, told us to I, I don't think. That's a big thing, and you I, know, and that is a story. Well, I know, I know of about four cars that's left this place in the last 15 years. How many? About four. And it really what it really, not necessarily understand what, what Bubba, what he is, family, but some of the other stuff, Diddy helped with charity. Like they've school project. He he finally let one group have it. And I mean he wouldn't hard he wouldn't let his best friend have flat tires down here. It was right. it was just he knowed if he ever started it would never end. And right. he never started. He was firm about believing, you know, in that. Now Diddy would have gave you shirt off his back, but he wasn't gonna give you this chrome off his car no. right? because it meant something to him and it still does today and that's the reason we're really hoping that all the community and everybody you know supports this thing and 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 gets a little bit of what they've been begging for for 15 years and i mean you know come and get it you know it's, it's a yeah. one-time deal you know diddy said if we ever sell them we're going to sell them all at one time and and that's what we're doing and this was his wishes yeah it was his wishes yeah he knew this was a full-time job but it kept a smile on his face and hey he's with us here today he's he's right here with us all and he's gonna be with whoever takes a piece of his history with him that's right and i hope whoever gets them will bring them back and show us what they've done with them you yeah know? well we want to we want to try to do a car show about every every two or three years we had one a couple years ago about 3,500 people showed up yeah. but if you look and see where we're going to put that many people in cars today, I mean, we need to make a place for Maybe everybody to have a car, car show. show. Yeah, yeah. We, we need to make yeah. a place for yeah. them to have their car, car show. Today, didn't he? Uh -huh. Like this truck here, my brother found this thing somewhere down in Athens. And, uh, and this, this old truck. This truck set out here for about five years, and, and everybody from from Gene and Matt Tractor, everybody that know Diddy thought they could come pull strings to get this thing. Yeah. So probably then. I guess about four or five years ago, my brother come in with this old hot rod Lincoln out here. Uh-huh. So him and Daddy got together and they took that hot rod Lincoln and put it in this Ford pickup. Yep. You know how to let the hood up, son? I don't. <laughs> Would you show me? <laughs> well, I know I walked up to this truck when nobody was around one day last week and this truck was cold just sitting there. Yeah, I, I got in you, and I bumped. I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. It's got a big block Ford motor, of, of completely rebuilt transmission, disc brakes, American racers. Every, every window on this truck's brand new. We put smoke glass windows back in it. Daddy wanted to paint it, but we talked him out of it because it's just original paint. Man, you just ain't never going to run across another truck like this. Y'all want to hear it crank? We want to hear this truck. Oh, yeah. This truck right here will speak to you so when it runs. That's a Ford pickup with a hot rod Lincoln motor. Now this is what you call a hot rod Ford Lincoln pickup truck. This is a pick em up truck. You can pick them up anywhere you want to. All right, Chris, let's walk around the other side and talk about some other stuff. You see them 